Hey everyone, Big Paulie back for a brand new video. Back for something a little bit different this week. At the moment, I am down here in Deal in Kent. I'm going to a TV and film convention. Yes, yeah, only a little small one. Uh, we've got a couple of guests down here from Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels and Only Fools and Horses and a few other bits and pieces. Uh, we have some cosplayers down here, Darth Vader. Uh, I think BB-8's down here as well and maybe The Mandalorian as well. Uh, plus we have all sorts of like dealer tables and that. Uh, the two guests that I'm really interested in meeting, um, I do want to get something signed if I can. One of the guests is Vass Blackwood, also known from uh, Lockstock and Two Smoking Barrels. Who can forget the pussy man himself with his sour milk? If you hold back anything, I'll kill you. If you bend the truth, or I think you're bending the truth, I'll kill you. If you forget anything, I'll kill you. In fact, you're going to have to work very hard to stay alive, Nick. Now, do you understand everything I've said? Because if you don't, I'll kill you. If the milk turns out to be sour, I ain't the kind of pussy to drink it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely brilliant. He was also in an episode of Only Fools and Horses, uh, the elusive Shad doll. <laughs> they seek him here, they seek him there. Those policemen seek him everywhere. Is he in heaven or is he in hell? That damn elusive Shad doll. <laughs> uh, we also have um, Philip Pope as well. Now, Philip Pope may not be familiar to a lot of people, but to Only Fools and Horses fans, he's the singer that can't pronounce his R's. That's right, Quian. So yeah, let's get into the hall. It's five pound entry. I don't know how much it is to charge for autographs or photos, but let's go and have a look around, shall we? Okay, so I did actually go to the, the building and unfortunately there's nowhere to park. It's uh, full up, probably space for about 30 cars. So I've had to park down the road a little bit on just the main roadway but uh, the hall is just up here as you can see it's not a very big car park but here is the building so let's go in
Joe just got back from Deal Comic Con. That was a nice little event. It was a bit of a squeeze getting in the hall because, you know, you've got the stalls quite close together. So two people trying to pass. Quite a few people in there. Uh, I did um make an inquiry earlier on before i left because i didn't know whether or not you had to have proof of vaccination or proof of a covid test i know some of the bigger events like the big london comic cons you've got to have you've got to show proof of vaccination or uh, proof of a pcr negative test something like that so i wasn't too sure i said no don't worry about it so, yeah, everybody was in there mixing. The guests were happy to shake your hand and and uh, get really close. So, yeah, um, just like old times. There's some good merchandise in there. A lot of it was a little bit pricey. It's like limited edition figures and things like that and autographed figures. There was an autographed Aliens figure by, is it, what's her name? Carrie Hen, who played New. That was quite interesting. I might have picked that up, but... I think it was like 70 or 80 quid or something. Um, lots of autographs in there. You flip through the folders with the autographs. Loads of action figures. Some weird other stuff. Uh, I actually didn't pick up anything merchandise-wise because I don't really need anything. They had lots of pop vinyl figures, but I'm only really sticking to like the Mandalorian figures at the moment, which you can get from like Smith's Toys and, think, and uh, places like that. Uh, but I had a good chat with some of the guests. So I met three guests. I had a selfie photo taken with two of them. I shall put the uh, the pictures on the screen. Uh, Frank Harper was also there. I think he's been in uh, Rise of the Foot Soldier. But he was also in Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels. And over the fucking desk. I'll find you. Of course you will, sweetheart. I'll find you. Do you think this is fucking hide and seek? One of the main guests that I went for was Philip Pope. And uh, I got him to sign a photo. Quiet! If you remember the episode. Uh, he's inscribed it to Paul. Uh, I think that says all the best. Philip Pope. So, yes, he tried not to sign it too much over David Jason's head. <laughs> so that was uh, Philip Pope, and uh, I had a selfie with him. Uh, and I also had a selfie photo with uh, Vass Blackwood, um, the damned elusive Shad doll from Only Fools and Horses, and also the Milkman. <laughs> the Milkman, I call him the Milkman, the Sour Milk Puss from uh, Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels. And of course, Frank Harper as well, who was also in Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels. Now I didn't get a uh, signed photo from those. Instead, I got them to sign my Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels Blu-ray cover. So we have uh, Frank Harper who signed up here and we have Vass Blackwood who signed down the bottom there, right over Statham's face, yes. In fact, there's actually a picture of him on the back of the Blu-ray sleeve. There he is. If the milk turns out to be sour, I ain't the kind of pussy to drink it. Fantastic. So, yeah, it wasn't too bad. Um, like I say, it was a small hall. Uh, it's just like a, a little local gathering, a little local comic con, as they usually have in like little towns. But, yeah, I had a bit of fun and um, met some people in there and... Uh, had a you know a few photos and had a good chat with the actors. So yeah, so that was my little trip to the Deal uh, TV and Film Comic Con on Saturday. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Like it by giving it some thumbs up. Blah, 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 blah. Don't forget to subscribe, comment and share. And I shall see you all on the next video very soon. Bye.